This isn't clickbait. I mean, it sounds very science fiction-esque, but it appears that the research that's gone into the COVID-19 vaccine has made this even closer to a reality than ever. A vaccine for addiction. For this, I spoke with Dr. Linda Stewart. She's the deputy director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Before any of us had even heard about COVID-19, the foundation had invested tens of millions of dollars into this mRNA technology that led to the vaccine. People have been working in this space for, you know, 10, at least 10 years. And the foundation has been invested in them since 2013 because we recognized there was a lot of promise. Think about that for just a second. If that technology wasn't already in the works and we had to sort of start from scratch in 2020 when we found out about coronavirus, it, it could be years, many years from now before you would see a vaccine. In all truth, if this had happened even two years earlier, they wouldn't have been ready. So um, we were very fortunate in time, I think. Now here's why you clicked. In its simplest form, the mRNA vaccine is kind of a set of instructions given to the body so it can react to certain things like viruses. What if this could lead to vaccinating other ailments? What if it could somehow dig deep into who we are, into our human behavior uh, to help us prevent our bodies from getting addicted to things? So opioid addiction and, there, and nicotine addiction. So there are all sorts of interesting tools, things you can do with vaccination now that you have a way of making them so quickly and so uh, effectively. Think about how much healthier we would be as a society if we could prevent ourselves from getting addicted to nicotine or, or alcohol, or in my case, ice cream. Now, this research has actually been in the works for more than a decade now, this sort of concept of vaccines against addictions. But Dr. Stewart believes that the coronavirus pandemic accelerated the research into this kind of thing four or five plus years in the span of just one year. All thanks to scientists who are one step ahead of the game. We all need to be very thankful for their uh, creativity and their brilliance. And, you know, it's not just those scientists, but they, they stood on the shoulders of other scientists. So, I'd be interested to see where the field goes. I think it's gonna be a fascinating area for the next 10, 15 years. Not to mention, we are now one giant step forward to getting vaccinated against things like malaria and HIV.